and we're back to Mass Effect 2. Last time we, me and Rand left off, we, uh, well, we got our Krogan. It wasn't the one we came for. Now, two, and now two decks down, we have a teenage Krogan who literally is born today. Yep. Any private messages? Nope, nothing new. I do have a skill point to spend, though. Ooh, decisions. Barrier, ammo, because of shots. Ah, more in ammo so I can unlock the other ammos. <laughs> now I can set feet pull on fire! Nice. All right. We can handle that later. That's probably gonna be later because unless you really want to do it now because that's gonna take a while. And then there's recruit the convict. Let's do that. Right, that's for meeting more people. I love meeting new people. Okay, maybe I don't, but that's because that's your job. <laughs> Prison ship purgatory. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, Purgatory was once an ark ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it's used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumors abound that the Blue Suns turn skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transactions and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,350, but independent journalists estimate it to be nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. Fun! Interesting. So, there's a lot of people. Let's bring Miranda and Grunt. Grunt. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with bringing along uh, an impressionable one day old and a uh, severe royalist? Yes. What indeed could possibly go wrong with this? Answer? Do I really care? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck no. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure no. to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Smart We're bringing fish. Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to our processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Yeah. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you <coughs> think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. 
Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Yeah. Bold words from coming from a bare-faced Turian. <laughs> Remember that thing I told you about Turians in the last game? Turians uh, that don't have face paint? Uh, uh, Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to And them. if they don't pay? What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. And suddenly he's These a lot less noble. People, and I'm keeping them locked up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he does have a point. Maintaining that many people is costly. Yes. But releasing them at an unspecified time and place. I mean, yeah. If I were in his position, I would just, you know, I just, I just space them and be done with it. But I'm yeah. an ass. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Let's get on with this. I bet yeah. people try pretty hard to get out. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> we have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Something tells me this isn't going to go as well as it should. I mean, we're gun we have guns. What are we worried about? <sighs> Let him die on his feet. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Yeah, more I mean, look at the guy. Yeah, like, he's, he isn't in, even in any condition to try and escape once the thing opens. Yeah, like, man's all but curled up in the fetal position. Hey, hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Yeah. Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ben. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Vinny. He don't know nothing. He offered someone in the showers yesterday, I think. The guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Vinny right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. The warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. When clear terrorism is small time. Yeah. <laughs> Makes you wonder what the kind of person we're here for. Uh -huh. What's it like here? Bad. Clear terrorist. Wants nothing to do with the <laughs> Yeah. 
smokes, clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. <laughs> Drop the soap once. I should go. Yep. Wish I could go. Well, what do you guys say? I hear the screaming in my head. It's night. Yeah. You're staying in there. What a long time. Out processing. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. You talk to uh. your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Did he really think that was gonna work? Uh. I don't think. Oh. Oh. Are we actually getting renegade out of this? I'll put them down. Why did one of them give us renegades and not the other? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's because that was a primary dialogue choice instead of uh, just branching. Oh. Need to get Jack out of the ice. Oh, so it wasn't for killing the enemy. It was just delayed for having just thing to fight in the end. I guess. The calling down is bullshit. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Fun fact, shotguns are not short and long range weapons. I don't think they're short range weapons, but I'm curious. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't dead? How about that? You know, he's pretty tough. Took three bullets to the head. Hmm. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. How oh, else are we gonna get Jack out? I'm doing it. Be ready. This is where the fun begins. Notice there's at least two of those big brutes in the room. Small doesn't matter in this case. Jack is strong. Jack is angry. At least three of them. Oh, I want to see this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you brought Grant. Sounds like heavy fighting. Four. She scrapped. Just... She scrapped four of them in the time it took us to get down here. All guards, restore yep. order. Lethal force authorized, but don't kill Jack. Text lockdown, lockdown. So naturally, she's not gonna be able to do that once we actually have her. Nine and eleven of have lost life support. No survivors. <laughs> Thank that I was gonna stop us anyway.
Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do not harm me. Eh, walk it off. Today's lesson in combat tactics, don't take cover next to explosives. Yep. Could have gone a little better. Jaws free money. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Wait. Does that mean you can sell medicine? No. Uh, if you've noticed, every time I open a. Uh, oh, when you have more than you. Yeah. yeah. When I go over capacity, it gives me credits instead. And yeah, that's definitely a good reason to save up on that game. Find Jack. Well, I'm pretty sure if you just follow the corpses and screaming, you'll eventually find her. Sounds like a good plan. All guards to one. I feel like she's in that direction. Valuable shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Yes, trying to uh, sell for profit the galaxy's single best hope is for the good of the galaxy. So you've got me thoroughly convinced, buddy. Oh. Alpha 
put them down. An angle. There ya. Come on, pop up. Stop's gonna make her stop. No, probably not. Cerberus. I don't think she's a fan. <clears throat> what the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Yes. No. This <laughs> ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. I could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. I mean, are you get I mean, I got a Krogan with me. Uh -huh. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give sure. you full access. Shepard, sure. I don't give a shit. Do that. <laughs> oh, it upsets the cheerleader even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. She's gonna be a fun addition to the crew. Yup. More than Miranda, that's for sure. <clears throat> Recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard, unacceptable. Fortunately, he was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. Oh my. <laughs> You know, steps other than murdering just about all every single one of them we see, since we're gonna be doing that anyway. Yeah. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to so back off, Shepard. Keep I'm here yourself because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading <laughs> down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. I don't think Mar Miranda approves. Good. Oh, listen, she's just an ice queen. She just needs time to warm up. It's also pretty much the only one here who's still very directly loyal to Cerberus, so... Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in... always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier, time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Live, of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. 
overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <coughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan will have to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population <laughs> spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. What do you think? That's good, or is that a problem, or just move on? What happened next? What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. I'll mm. be honest, I don't fully understand that. So don't be surprised if you don't. I can't I get it. I mean, I sort of get it, but I'm not a geneticist. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. You think it was wrong, right, or just honesty? Thank you for telling me. Yeah. I doubt you told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Let's be honest. There's no good or bad. No clear good or bad on that one. Yeah, it's the Krogan so, after all. Yeah, like <laughs> on one side, yeah, the main reason that the genophage was even made to begin with was because they were basically just conquering everything. I think. Yeah. Just it's like, see why the why the you know, fish is a thing. I also, uh, you know, what? Yeah. Just just keep talking. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk. So. Unofficial, you and me. Sounds good. Have to say, you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I'd like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. <clears throat> but what led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. <laughs> Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stuff. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. <laughs> I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to That's wonder what the deal with you was. 
Now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. But that's all, Commander. I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Yep. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but Shepard is speaking a lot more on his own than in the previous game. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. Shepard having a bit of their own personality mixed with however you play them. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, and now this is going to be an amusing quip. Oh, my. Puts a crazy oh, take into the main it's the wrong guns. one. It's almost doubled their power draw. They seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. <clears throat> what can we do for you, Commander? Hang on. Area. Will do, Commander. Hang on a sec. Before we actually go down and talk to Jack, maybe if I reload the area. They've got a funny line regarding uh, Jack being there. I can imagine. Speaking of Jack. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I make the answers. I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. Mm. I'm going to be. I'm going to stay neutral on that one. Yeah, that's. Uh... They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since, and they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know... This ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Well, if we're not dead, I'll awesome consider it. <laughs> Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim <laughs> I should go. So she's definitely a lot more about survival than, than the actual killing. But she clearly enjoys it. I mean, if you go to do something a lot, you might as well. <laughs> Speak, damn you! <laughs> Shepard. Did Okira give you any imprints about the collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Mm. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. <coughs> what are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. 
Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, hmm. you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely did not expect that from him, but okay. <laughs> Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Well said. Kind of conflicts with this whole I fight to fight that he just said. Yeah. But hey, at least there's more depth to him than that kill. Yeah, he's actually got some proper insight. This mission takes me back. Jack, hmm. subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Hmm. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. <laughs> you know, I'm noticing a theme with all Zaid stories. I love the flat. A whole lot of, we lost a lot of men that day. Ah, uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I actually never really spent much time talking to him, so that's actually something I'm picking up on. Hmm. Well, it does can sort of explain the whole now being alone and drunk kind of deal. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, got a minute? I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. <laughs> Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. She's cool. She's Is she fine. romance though? Just wondering? Uh, no. Oh. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's mail. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the collectors. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. That is one of the biggest memes uh, uh, in the entire franchise. Garrus wait, wait. and his calibrations. Huh. <laughs> it's a big enough meme that um, a while back they, uh, Bioware announced a new Garrus figurine to, to go with, you know, Legendary Collection. Mm -hmm. And, of course... The picture they they tweeted of it was unfinished, so they put the tagline, we're in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> the elusive man 
wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Oh boy, the boss wants to talk. Uh, we don't call him that. No, we don't. We call him Tim. Get it? The elusive man, Tim. Oh. <laughs> Took me a moment. <laughs> Let's see what he wants. Well. Hello, team. <laughs> Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. Oh, last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew? I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Yep. We're finally getting back to them, huh? Yeah. Still trying to figure out where he got that thing. <laughs> yeah, not that you mentioned it. Tell me you have something. Yes. Thanks. Nice. Good. Cause we're gonna need it. Yep. Spander, heavy weapon I'm on less than enemies. Bitch, I do what I want. <laughs> Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Trouble, that's what. Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover it. <laughs> like, run. Hey, Ash, I don't think that's gonna cover it. They're still conscious. Yep. Uh -huh. Still conscious with all these bug things walking around. That's gonna leave some nightmares and probably PTSD. <laughs> you think? Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, boy, tag, I was playing Escom. <laughs> gonna be next time though yep so uh Bye. yeah